Hi everybody, I'm back. I am making my chili. I've been making this chili um, with my dad since I was about 10. So I'm gonna give you my take on a five bean chili. So um, the recipe that's going to be posted is gonna have ground turkey in it, really lean ground turkey. You can also use beef and pork or a mixture of all three. Um, what I'm doing today is half pork and half beef. Um, gives it a little bit more flavor, but both of those are very lean as well. So to save some time, I've already ground up and um, fried up the meat, so it's all ground. I'm going to add in the onions. This is one large onion chopped. And you basically want to just cook that down until it kind of, kind of sweats a little bit. So I'm just mixing it in the pot here. And this, um, if you don't like onions, Chop them really fine. You're gonna be cooking this long enough that they're kind of gonna dissolve. If you like the taste of um, onions, then you wanna make sure you get them a little more chunky, and then you'll start adding things before they really start cooking down. So if you don't like onions, really small, cook them down more. If you do like them, make them bigger and cook them a little bit less. Sorry for the squeaking, Patches want some attention too. So what I'm doing here with the five beans, I'm using kidney beans, and I usually use low sodium beans. And you should always rinse canned beans really well because um, even though they're low sodium, you wanna get all of that off and, and um, all the, the juice that they're packed in off because it'll also help cut down the salt. So because I do use low salt stuff, I add salt to it, but I have more control over what I add to it. So I'm using kidney beans, I'm using pinto beans or chili beans. You can get either plain pinto or sometimes they have them with the chili seasonings in it. And then I'm using white kidney beans, which are a little bit the same size as uh, regular kidney beans. Then I'm using um, white northern beans, which are a little bit smaller than the kidney beans. And then I'm also using black beans. So those are my five beans. You can pick any five you want. Whatever you got in the pantry, it's great. I just like the variety. I'm also using one can of diced tomatoes, one small can of chopped olives. If you don't like olives, omit it. I like olives in there. I like the extra little bit of saltiness that it adds to it. Then I'm gonna use two tablespoons of tomato paste, four cloves of garlic that have been chopped or smashed, and then I'm going to use uh, one tablespoon of chili powder and two and a half tablespoons of cumin. So the chili powder kind of gives it that spicy chili taste. The cumin gives it the smoky taste. So if you really like the smoky taste, you can add more of that cumin in. If you don't like that, add less of it in. So, and then I add for a little bit of zing, I'll usually add a little bit of Tabasco sauce. And if you really like it spicy, you can put chili pepper flakes in it. The um, broth I'm using today is gonna be beef broth because I'm doing um, hamburger and pork, but usually with the turkey, I'll use chicken broth. And you're gonna use four cups of that. So this is starting to cook down. So when you add the spicy stuff in at the end, I would go ahead and put it in and you need it to come to a boil because that spiciness develops as it gets warmer. So don't put too much in the front end. Let it simmer for five or 10 minutes and then come back and taste it and see if it's spicy enough for you. If it is, you're good to go. If it's not, you can add just a little bit more, but add less in the beginning because you can't make it less spicy. So these onions are looking pretty good right now because I like to taste my onions, so I like a little crunch with them. I am going to start adding some of my stuff in. So I'm gonna put my beans in, and you don't wanna smash your beans. Um, oh, I did, didn't say, um, if you want, you can use um, dry beans. You'd have to um, cook them first, but you wanna use approximately uh, about a cup and three quarters of each cooked. That's what it is. It's a 15.5 ounce can um, of beans. So I'm just gently mixing these in. Get my last can in there. Okay. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my tomatoes in. And the great thing about chili, you really can customize it to the way you like it. If you like more tomatoes, chunky tomatoes in there, add two cans. It's not really that big of a deal. Um, like I said, if you don't like olives or you don't like onions, you can adjust it. Um, if you want to make this vegetarian, you could do all this and just use, um, omit the meat. You could use some other protein. Um, if you want to put tofu in, or um, you can use vegetable broth. So the next thing that's going to go in is the beef broth. I know that these containers are four cups, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. And really what I want is I want the amount of liquid to just cover everything when I get it all in. Because it is going to cook down a little bit. See, and it's almost covered everything. So this is perfect. Because you don't want a soup, you want a chili. So having a little bit, um, you being able to see the liquid in there is just fine um, because it is going to cook down as it boils. So I have um, my pot on medium high heat. Okay, so the next thing I want to put in is um, my garlic. I'm going to get that all mixed up in there. Okay, and now I'm going to add um, my couple of tablespoons of paste. I'm going to kind of dollop this in because it kind of has to break up. And I want to mix this up gently, but I want to make sure that it kind of um, gets distributed. Because what the, the tomato paste is doing is it's acting as the thickening agent that's in there. So it's going to thicken up that broth so it's a little bit um, thicker uh, fluid um, binding all this together. And it will break apart as it boils, so you're totally fine. And if you have more liquid in yours, that's okay. Because um, you can boil it down. Just leave the lid off when you're boiling it. Okay, it looks like it's incorporated in there pretty well. I'm gonna add in my olives. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is the chili powder. I'm gonna get that all incorporated in there. This freezes really well. So if you guys like to make a big pot and freeze it, don't worry if there's only two of you at home, Sean and I will freeze some of this, but we'll eat on it for a few days too. And this is the cumin. So if you don't like smoky, start with one tablespoon, mix it in, after it warms up, then taste it. The spices don't really develop and bloom until it starts getting warm. Um, I know what I like, because I really like the smoky flavor, so I'm putting olive in it. And sometimes I even add more. Um, it just depends on my mood that day. So anyone that knows me and knows the stuff that I like to cook all the time, I don't have a written recipe for. So I really have to sit down and think about what I actually put in and what would be uh, beneficial for more people than just me. So as you can see, the colors kind of changed in here because the tomato paste has gotten incorporated in there. It's kind of, instead of being a clear brothy color, it's kind of a muddy color. And that's really what you want. So all I'm really going to do, I'm going to start with three little shakes of Tabasco sauce. I'm, and everyone that knows me, I don't like spicy. So I'm not going to put much more of that in there. Um, but if you like it spicy, you can put that in. If you're going to put um, chili paper, pepper flakes in, I would start with like an eighth or a quarter of a teaspoon. First, let this thing boil, taste it, and see how hot it is. You'd be surprised how much, how spicy it'll get with very, very uh, little amount of that. Especially when it's been boiling. All right, so all I'm going to do now is I'm going to wait for this to boil. And um, if everything's perfect and you don't need to adjust, and I'll also, you know what, I didn't do this. I'm going to add a little bit of salt maybe like a quarter to a half a teaspoon and a little bit of pepper. 
And then you can adjust that too after it heats up. Because this is really to your personal preference and your taste. I'm going to just go ahead and incorporate that in there. So let this boil, then taste it and see what's missing. Does it need more of a chili flavor? Add some more chili powder. Does it need more smoky flavor? Add more cumin. Does the salt taste balanced? It should taste balanced. So to serve it, we like to serve it in a little um, crock soup crocks. And I will top it off with a little bit of cheese because I like cheese. If you don't, you don't have to. Um, also some green onions. Kind of gives it that fresh feel and it gives a little color to the top of it. So that is it. You guys enjoy. And I hope to see you when you have some chili.